Hello and welcome to the presentation of the ServerCut CNC software. In the next videos, including this one, we will talk about the multiple sections and functionalities of the software. The first part is going to be about the CAD section, which is where we're going to have our drawings being drawn and import, imported via the DXFM port. Then we're going to talk about the CAM section, where we're going to nest those files into a plate, plate of material. And then finally, on the CNC, we're going to cut those files on the material. As you can see right now, I'm using a work in progress version of the software. So many functionalities you might say today are not on the stable version, which is version 6. Alright, uh, so now for the CAD section of the software, we're going to have a look at the different icons and functions available for you in the current version. So to begin with, right here, we have the new document icon where you can create a, a, multiple documents at the same time and have a kind of prepare all your jobs before starting cutting since when using the software on your machine you can either draw and prepare your shapes or cut with the machine since there is no multitasking with the software as of now and then we have the open document where you can open previous documents and recut them or uh, make some changes there then we have the same uh, the save icon which is pretty self explorer you save your current documents for later uses or just for archiving them then right here the future types I will go over them in the CAM section so so keep that in mind and now right here we have the import tools where you can import uh, images from Google image and have the software trace trace outlines out of it pretty important thing though is to make sure you have a high contrast in them to make sure the software can create the best possible replica on the software then we have the DXF DWG import where you can import your AutoCAD files, uh, CAD Adventure, SolidWorks, any files that come from any drawing software as long as they're a DXF or DWG file the software will take them easily. Then we have the basic, the basic shape tool for like doing lines, rectangles, or parallelogram, depending which option you take on the right menu here. Then we have the arc tool from to attach some marks on your shapes. The circle tool, pretty self-explanatory in the text tool. I will cover that in a different video since there's a multiple steps on how to use the text. Then here we have a little bit more options for pentagon or spline or elliptic circle, elliptic arc. Pretty self-explanatory on how to use those. Then here we have the shape tool, which uh, already has some preformed shapes here. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's about 30 or so different different shapes. Uh, you can always modify the values. Just click on it. It will be imported in your your drawing section here, and you're able able to change the measurements in there for the inside diameter of the circle, number of holes. It's all explained there from in the shape parameters ver versus what you have in the shape preview here where you can adapt it to your needs. Then we have the chamfer and fillet tool. Pretty so, uh, pretty easy to use. Simply select the corner um, of, ooh, let me just uh, put that back in the uh, top feature. A simple misclick for, misclick for me. So let's just have a, a, a rectangle right here so for easy, uh, easy demonstration. So for the chamfer tool, simply select the corner um, just make a box with the, hold the right click and make a box around the corner you want to use the chamfer and we'll just click on that and there you go we have a chamfer added there let's click the check mark and that's it that's all I have to do pretty much um, you can always modify the, the, the distance for uh, the deep how deep you want your chamfer to start and what the angle you want in there uh, we also have the fillet tool which right now is kind of useless on that corner here, but let's select the opposite corner of the or rectangle and apply the fillet tool. Simple as that, simply select a corner and click on the fillet tool. Select the fillet radius you want, click the check mark, and the fillet is automatically added on the shape. Pretty easy to use, to, uh, to use those tools. Uh, you have the extent tool where you could extend some lines if they're 
coming a bit short for closing the gap and then the trim tool to trim the excess line you might have on certain DXF could be just an error of, of a drawing error so you could use those tools to correct the drawings and then all the rest here are pretty self-explanatory icon as the scale scaling the uh, the shape offset offsetting some features of your parts the fixed drawing tool uh, a little warning it is only available if you have the pro package purchase for the machine which is used to fix some minor issues your drawing could have like short lines or excess it's all used for that um, and then the copy icon so so you could copy a feature or shape and then paste it later the lead function move function where you can move your shape so for the cat section apart from that it is pretty easy to use uh, simply uh, make your sh make your shapes from the uh, drawing icons use the shape tool to have uh, a preform shape and adapt it to your needs or simply import an already drawn shape with the DXF import thank you for watching this video about the CAD section of the Silvercard CNC software the next video will be about the CAM section